You know, a lot of us believe once we cut the booze, life should get better. In a lot of ways, it does get better, right? We, our health gets better, we're sleeping a little better, our pocketbook gets better, people who are on our case about our drinking start to get a little confident in us, maybe the wife starts talking to you kinder, maybe she has a little more trust just because we quit drinking. But over time, just the grind of life, you know, like doing the laundry, the housekeeping, going to work, you know, the stresses of life, grocery shopping, the bosses on your case, traffic, paying the bills, going to in-laws, going to parties, barbecues, whatever it is, just the regular grind of life, once we stop the booze, starts getting to us. And we say to ourselves, what the hell is going on? Well, I'm telling you what's going on. Alcoholism is progressive. It's one of the only diseases when you stop the symptom, and that is drinking, the, the alcoholism keeps moving forward with you. Okay, it's like the old saying, I always say it, you sober up a drunken horse thief, he's still a horse thief, right? You gotta change your ways. And that brings us to step two. You know, came to believe that a power greater than ourselves can restore us to sanity. Yeah, and before we can be restored to sanity, we have to admit that we are insane. But if you're off alcohol and you've done nothing to change your life, I bet you can pretty well say, I'm having a hell of a time coping with my life. I need to do something about it. I need to do something about it. Just by the very nature of alcoholism, it's a mental illness. It really is. It affects our mind, our emotions, physically, spiritually. All those areas it seeps into and it ruins our lives. It can destroy us as human beings. A lot of a lot of us sit there in these meetings and we hear that, you know, came to believe that a power greater than ourselves can restore us to sanity. A power greater than ourselves and we get hung up on that. I don't know about you, but when I came into recovery, I wasn't too big on any higher power. I had way too many problems. My coping ability with, with life was at zero and I just couldn't do anything properly. I was argumentative, I was depressed, I was sad. I was all those negative feeling sides, right? And man, oh man, I'd rage out on people. My coping abilities was, oh, I don't even wanna go there, it was so crazy. So, and I didn't really believe in a higher power. I thought God was kind of hokey pokey. But if you're having a problem with your higher power, if you're having a problem with all that, I just want you to do this, okay? You listen up, okay, you ready? Just listen up a little bit. I want you to do this for me. Just keep an open mind, right? Step one is honesty, that we have a problem. Step two is basically, what helped me a lot, was keeping an open mind. And what that open mind is saying to you is that your way up to now is not working for you. Your best thinking got you exactly where you are today. I don't know about you, but I ended up in jail with 14 months of sobriety because of my anger. You know, even off the booze, I was not, you know, firing all pistons. <laughs> it was pretty crazy, to be honest with you. You know, ending up in jail for the salt, uttering threats at 14 months of sobriety because the alcoholism, the act of alcoholism made me crazy. And when it took me, when, it, when I stopped doing it, my ability to cope with life on life terms was gone. So I was, I had no problem totally admitting that I was nuts. That's the first thing you have to admit, that things aren't going well for you. But if you keep an open mind and you say to yourself, eh, maybe these AA guys are right, or maybe this 12 step stuff can work for me, you might be surprised the outcome of your life will start to improve on a daily basis. Just like mine did. Mine started to prove on a daily basis. You know, alcoholics are full of fear, we're full of guilt, we project into the future, we look back at the past of all the damage we've done to other people. Like, we are not present at all. We are not. And we got all these stuff going on, financial issues, like me, criminal issues, you know, criminal charges, all this stuff happening. Not to believe in a higher power, but just to keep an open mind that the group knew better than me to keep sober was one of the greatest benefits I ever got or received in early recovery. My way did not work. My best thinking got me exactly where I was in a jail cell, believe it or not, believe it or not, that's where it got me. And my thinking at the time was very black and white, very black and white. And alcoholics 
are like that. We're very stubborn, we're very black and white, and we're lazy asses. We don't want to give things a new try because maybe we're afraid or, you know, maybe we think we, you know, we just haven't totally given up. But just keep an open mind. It'll help you. You'll start learning new ways to cope with your life one day at a time. You'll understand that there is a different way of doing things. Instead of going home and fighting with your wife or giving someone the finger in the traffic, maybe just waving to them. Or maybe bring your wife some, can uh, some nice uh, flowers or some chocolates instead of getting in a fight with her. Or maybe going to work and being grateful for your job. You can learn those things with an open mind. You can learn them. And that is basically a power greater than yourself outside of you. Accepting help from somebody, accepting a new way of life is the best thing we can do for ourselves. It really can. It takes effort. We have to practice it. We have to work the steps. We have to do all that stuff. But when it comes to an outside power greater than yourself, don't sweat it. Keep an open mind. It makes you a better listener. You'll have more friends you'll be easier going. It'll help you with your stress level because you won't be so fixated on garbage. You'll have an open mind. Maybe that guy's opinions is right and maybe I'm wrong or maybe we can just walk away and disagree to disagree. And maybe my, my sweetheart is not always on my case. Maybe when I drank, I was just a lazy ass and I didn't take out the garbage. Maybe she just asked me to do nice things. She's not against me. It's keeping an open mind. Maybe my mother was right too. Just keep it an open mind. Not everybody's wrong, right? And no, not even you. You're not wrong all the time. An open mind does that. It gives us the ability to do new things. It keeps us teachable. It keeps us like that. We've seen people without an open mind. We know what that's like, right? We've seen them in 12-step programs. We've seen them in our lives. You can't even talk to them. Well, I was one of those people. I was one of those people you could not talk to because I did not have an open mind. My way of thinking was right, the way I live was right, but you know something? It wasn't right. A guy who ends up in jail sober at 14, years of sobri 14 months of sobriety, is his way right? I don't think so. His way is, well, it was my way, is totally wrong, okay? So keep an open mind. Just do that one day at a time. You may be full of fear, you may not like it, but just take it one day at a time, keep an open mind and just say to yourself, my way didn't work. I'm gonna give these 12 step, this 12 step program an opportunity to build another life for me, a life that I am, don't know anything about, a life that I'm afraid to do, a life that I need help to do. I'm gonna build that one day at a time and that's what I'm going to do. And this higher power stuff will come to you because you'll see the miracles performed in your life. You'll see you change. People will come up to you and say, hmm, what happened to that guy? He's changed, he's not as argumentative. Yeah, we can actually talk to Terry G now. Yeah, he's going to work, he's a great employee. Yeah, he's taking orders from the boss, doesn't think he's a know-it-all. He's a little, you know, he's a little open-minded now. What a great guy. It goes, it goes like that, but it takes work, okay? It takes work. Thanks for stopping by. My name is Terry G. This is an alcohol-free life channel where we learn to live sober one day at a time. If you can take a second, can you please subscribe to my channel? Take another second and hit that like button. And can you all do me a favor? Keep an open mind. Keep an open mind that your new life, your great life is just around the corner, okay? Being sober can be difficult, especially at the beginning, but it does get better. It does, okay? Ciao for now. Remember, sobriety is freedom. God bless, and don't forget to subscribe. Ciao.